Have you ever had a big pile of pins and shrapnel and crumbs and and thought, well, there must be gold in there. How would I process it? Well, stick around and you'll find out. Hey viewers, in today's video we've got a whole pile of shrapnel which was given to me by the person that we're refining for. There's pins in there, there's bits of board, there's all kinds of stuff, crumbs of all sorts. I have no idea, I didn't process it. It was handed to me and all we've done is put some water in there right now. And we're going to put some nitric in to consume any base metals that may be in there. So that we can try and extract the gold. We did see gold all through it, just here in front of my finger. I could see some gold glistening in the sun. There's definitely gold through it. So we're just going to try and get rid of all the base metals, then go for the gold. So we've placed some nitric in, and as you can see, it's working. Between P Peter and I, we're both going to do this video. So we'll just keep an eye on this, make sure that we don't have any reaction when we put nitric in. Get rid of all those base metals. And it's out in the open, so hopefully... Don't worry, my chickens are fine. Alright, so this is the stuff that we've had in Arctic over a couple of days. Or well, quite a few days. That's all the sloth, and I'm putting it in here to filter it into a bucket, and from there, we'll process the gold. So, this is the sediment that was placed in a bucket and put nitric on. I'm now currently just rinsing it, but also I've been using this sheet to filter it, but it was too difficult, so now I'm using a sieve. And filtering it through this, which we're working a lot better and rinsing it. And then it leaves us with this, which is what I've been putting in the filter, like the filtered stuff. You can see a bit of gold in there. Maybe if I zoom in, and you'll see better. Sick. All right, so I'll continue that. So these are the chips that were in that blue base bucket or tub. But because we put so much nitric in for a nitric bath, we had to then decant it into this bucket here. So this is the process like we are now got no reaction. It's got rid of most of the waste. So what I'm going to do is I'm filtering it into a sip and then what we're going to do is process it in a small beaker there which will make it a bit easier because then I can put it on the hot plate and go from there alright so that's the sediment that's left and I am now put it in half so that because that came up to there so it would have been way too much solution uh, sediment in there so I've halved it I've put tap water in there just to cover it well there's a bit too much in there but there's still gold flakes floating so I'll just leave it where it is and put some nitric in so Now we are in an open area, so if there is any fumes, you can see the bubbling there. The process is starting to take effect. So I'll keep topping up until there's no like, reactions and most of the sediments down to got rid of all the sediments. All right, I'm talking through my eyes today because I was sick. But anyway. So we'll just leave that as is. I might stick one of them on the hot plate because Peter's got his going there. Now just so that you know, these 
were given from somebody for us to process. Now what they did was they took the boards and everything and just used a, a chisel, a hammer, drill, whatever you want to call that, um, to take all the things off. So this is a mixture of literally everything that's on a board. So we have to try and process it the best we can. And I know Peter will be able to do it, so but it's going to be a tough job for me, that is. All right, so this has been on the hot plate. What we've done was we've thrown this out into here, and we're going to filter that out while this is still going because there was too much liquid in there. So I'm going to top it up with a little bit of nitric, still going to be on the heat, and we'll, yeah, we'll just check if it's more reaction. But you can see there's still gold in there. All right, Good morning guys. So this is that container I was busy with, with the fragments off a board where they've combined everything with it. There's a little bit of overspill there, so I'm gonna clean that up. But in the meantime, I've got this funnel here, which is empty. I put a cotton ball in there and I'm gonna put a filter in. So we've processed this with AR, which is Acaregia. I'm trying to learn the terminologies here, so the ones that don't know it's Acaregia um, is AR. I'm going to filter this out because we've dissolved the gold but I might like Peter says we might take the segment and then reprocess it and see you know but there was no reaction when we done it. So I'm going to filter that once I'm done I'll go through with the next steps and then in time I'm just gonna clean that mess. All right I'll get back to you when I'm done that. All right, filtering this is taking way too long. It's just dripping like very finely. Now I've spoken to Peter about it. I'm gonna use this brewer bag. Okay, it's a little bit funky at the moment because the wind and the storms here in WA. So I'm gonna use the brewer bag like I did to cleaning the nitric bath and hopefully that will run out faster. Just to take all the sediment out. Once I've done that, I'm going to reprocess the segment, but that way at least it's filtered all the, like the sediment that's in there at the moment. <coughs> It'll go quicker, but then I will filter it then after. That way it's not going to be clogged up. It'll go way quicker and I can get this gold done. So there's the sediments and I've been filtering them so I've used a brewer bag so that I'm left just with liquid because god it was taking forever just to watch it drip like the slowest drip um, so I've got a few funnels going which I'm trying to filter as many times as possible there's quite a few going that's just because I want to try to get this done um, so I'll be doing that a few times and then refining it uh, we'll go from there and I'm going to reprocess those and hopefully we have got rid of all the gold because you can't really any see anything there I'm pretty sure I've got rid of all of it with the hydrochloric acid or the AR so once these are finished filtering I'm going to do it a few times so that I know it's definitely got all the junk out but there's always going to be a little bit left so we'll just refine and refine until we get pure. So this has been filtering over a couple of days numerous of times just to make sure that I get it clear from all the sludge but it's still not 100% purified is that the word? Yeah, so I'm just going to put some Femac in to see if there's any reaction. It doesn't look like there's any. And that's just to check if there's any excess nitric. So Peter's made me up some iron sulfate. Yep. So I'm going to pour that in. So because I've got about 800 mils, I'm going to top it up. Just to double the, the quantity that's in the flask, is that correct? Yep. Doesn't have to be exact. Oh. 
there might be a colour change. Oh, I get it better than Peter's. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then this one here. Mm -hmm. Let's let it sit overnight. Who knows by tonight it might be dropped. But at least I got faster colour change than Peter. No, no, it's no. a very dirty solution, so we're going to start somewhere. Yeah. It's still very dirty, but we're going to still filter it and process it and reprocess it until we get a colour looking like that. Now, this is from the filters, the paper storage that I had from all the segments that came from all the boards. And Peter processed it for me, so that's what it's meant to look like. But I'll keep processing it until I get the end result. All right, so my gold has dropped. There's some collodial on top here, but look at that nice little layer. Well, not little, but you can see it's a fair bit in both of these. I've picked it up before, and I think that's what's maybe stirred it up. There's a good little layer there. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, so I'm going to pull this off. <coughs> Sorry, I've got the flu. I'm going to just pour it off into this jug for our waste. And then process the gold. So all the gold is settled down there. You can see it a bit higher up. It's all settled down the bottom. But because I'm not such a pro at pouring and I always seem to get the gold go over, I'm putting it in a filter and then I'm going to reprocess it and then I'll literally land up being at this stage where the paper storage was done. So I might process the paper storage here and the gold and re in, uh, re refine it can't get my words out today so I'm gonna keep doing that filtering the solution finished and then I've got a big jar there which I need to do Sully me I've just overfilled it so we'll see how that goes but you can see there's sediment down the bottom there it's looking pretty good all right so I'll keep doing that and once that's done and I'm getting to the stage where I am processing um, the gold and the paper storage like I've done there, I'll combine the two and process it and then drop the gold again. Alright, so now I said I was going to wait till I'm finished filtering, but Peter wants to see the drop. Plus, you can add the gold powder from that <laughs> to those filters. Oh, and then I can add the gold, what are drop the gold drops to this, to the filters, if that makes sense. So I'm going to put iron sulfate in. You about double that. So, oh, nice change. Uh, nice colour change. See, I'm a pro at this. Is that yeah. it? Yeah. And there we go. So I'll let that drop the gold and then I'll pour it into those filters there. Which I've only got a little bit to do. So that's the last bit of the dreads that's at the bottom. And then I'll add that to it. So I finally got everything filtered. So now I'm going to mix up some AR, which is AR, AR which is hydrochloric acid and a touch of nitric. Sorry, I'm trying to do it one hand. All right, and then I'll put that on the hot plate to dissolve the gold. Hey guys, so this is my second refine of the gold that we're doing. And this is coming from the boards that the person that has given us to process has chiseled off. So it's a bit of everything that comes from. So I'm going to filter this after the second refine. Because I've got my paper pulp underneath there. Just there. I'll do this and then I'll come back to you with the next steps. Alright, I got all the gold filtered. 
So I'm going to do a sulfamic test just to see if there's excess nitric in. But I'm only going to use a very little. And it doesn't look like there's any reaction. Nothing at all. So what I'm going to do is put iron sulfate in. So I'll just double the quantity up here. Double the quantity of what's in there. So you can see the colour change there, so I'll leave that overnight or possibly later on today. Getting darker and darker, see? Yeah. And then possibly we'll have the gold powder. Hey guys, I'm gonna the gold has dropped overnight. So you can see there, I'll just move to the shade. Achtsen. So it's not much. But there's gold. So I'm going to just pour it into this beaker here, the gold wash, and then uh, pour it into that. For somebody that's learning, this is the worst way to learn because they've processed the boards by just chipping everything off it. So you're literally processing nuts, bolts, and everything that goes with it. I'm just making sure I don't get everything over the edge. Oh, there we go. That's the little bit I'm stuck with. Just that little bit. So now I'm going to put hydrochloric acid in there and do a hydrochloric boil. And that will just purify it a lot more. And then after that, the nitric boil. Is that correct, Peter? And if it makes any sense, this is the same e-waste that I'm having trouble getting gold out of. Yeah. All the stuff we're doing is from these people. And everyone and, seems to have nothing in it. And there's literally nothing. It's not even worth the chemicals, the time. I mean, these boards are, that they've given me that was crushed or chiseled or whatever it is, literally has taken me almost a month to do. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Roughly a month to do. And the way Peter does it, it might be tedious and time consuming, but you know what, at least you know what you, you're processing. Right now, like we're just sucking our thumb, I can't even tell you what it's coming from. You just started with a box of shrapnel. Yeah. And you'll see in the beginning of the video of how it looked. But yeah, so I'm gonna just do get some hydrochloric acid and then do an, a boil. Alright, so that's the gold powder that we're left with, as I showed you before. Wait, let me let it focus. And now I'm just going to do a hot water bath. Or rinse it off, basically. And once that settles. Now also, Peter has a video on the go. And you would see it if you've watched the video. That's what he's got out of it. I might combine the two. No, I put the other one into here. Oh, I might put that one into here. And combine the two because it's from the same person. Look how tiny the but is. it is so tiny, and the beak is that small, so it's it's very minute. And along with mine, it won't even take that whole beaker. So I might pull this back into Peter's one, and then go from there. <sighs> okay, Nadine's lost her voice, so she can't do the outro. Um. I had a video going at the same time and I got the tiniest bit of gold and so did she. And what we've done is we've amalgamated it and put it all in the one, <laughs> this, this poor pathetic excuse for a beaker and it's got both our gold in it. So this is happening time and time again lately with all the things that we're refining for this person and all we can think of is they must have really new e-waste because the older the e-waste, the more gold. Also the manufacturer, but everything I've been doing and everything she's been doing from this person has been hardly any gold. So she hopes that you enjoy the video that she's made and when she gets her voice back, she'll make another one. Until then, bye for now.